to another chaotic classroom clip. This one is aimed at grade 12s working in life sciences in the CAPS syllabus and the topic for today's clip is the amniotic egg. Now we're going to start from the outside in. First up is our shell. Now remember the shell can be either calcified or leathery and its function is to prevent the embryo from drying out. Next up we have the embryo and the embryo is the entire reason why we have the egg. So everything in this egg literally revolves around the embryo. Then we have the amnion which is a membrane and inside the amnion we will have the amniotic fluid. This is the reason why we call it an amniotic egg is because of this amniotic sac. And the function of the amnion and its amniotic fluid is about protecting the embryo as well. Then we have the yolk sac, which contains the yolk. That would be the yellow part of the egg if you're looking at chicken eggs and duck eggs. And the function of the yolk is to provide the embryo with food. Then we have the elantua, and the function of the elantua is to store waste. So this is a temporary waste storage. And then we have our albumin. The albumin is the white part of the egg, and that's going to supply the embryo with water and nutrients. Then we have the air space, which is a little air pocket here at the bottom of the egg, on the blunt side of the egg. Now, because it contains air, it's going to be responsible for gases exchange, so that oxygen can go in and carbon dioxide can go out. Remember, the shell is used at the time also slightly porous to allow gases exchange to take place. And then lastly, we have the chorion, and the chorion's function is to transfer nutrients from the albumin to the embryo. Thank you for visiting the Chaotic Flotion. See you next time.